Oh, hi, it's Nai. <clears throat> I feel like I should do like a different like inflection than, oh, hi, it's Nai. Maybe I should be like, oh, hi, it's Nai. Or, no, that's annoying. I don't know. Or maybe I should be like, oh, hello, it's Nayello. No, that's stupid. <laughs> it sounds like I'm like a, like a Jello commercial. But I have this on my head um, because, as you can see, it is May 11th. <laughs> and um so today is the exact date of the year uh the exact date that i cut my hair off like all of my hair off if you haven't seen it then i will link it in one of these eye thingies i don't know if it's this side or this side but i will link it um so one year of natural hair and if you go back to my video and you're like excuse me it was only like eight months ago what are you talking about i actually had that video up for like on the channel for like three months but i had it private and I was standing there and I was like why do I have no vi views on this video like at least like 10 or something would be like nice or whatever and I had it on private for three months so I'm an idiot <laughs> so taking this off I have I just washed my hair and this is what a year's worth of growth looks like um I wish it was longer to be honest, but this is a lot for a year. So I'm going to put products in my hair and then we'll do, and I'll basically be talking about like why I went natural um, again, because if you didn't know I went natural before, but it wasn't on this channel, I didn't film it, I didn't have a YouTube channel that, back then. Um, but we're just going to be talking about, you know, like why I went natural and why it's a thing I don't know so um, first I'm gonna be using the soft sheen Karis Carson professional wave whatever texturizing system moisturizing finishing lotion I don't know why it just worked for my hair did not shave Wow okay <laughs> um, the, but basically the reason for me going natural was just because like my hair was like I don't know I, I just kind of thought about um like getting relaxers and like getting uh that uh japanese hair straightening thing and if you didn't know i'm like the laziest person you'll probably ever meet in your life i'm like the biggest procrastinator i wait till the last minute to do everything so i was like do i really want to because another reason basically i'm gonna you know dive into this a little bit is my hair grows extremely quickly so in order for me to like cover up you know like the amount of uh roots i had i would literally have to go in like every three months because i would have like this much in like three months so it was just like i don't want to i was sitting there and i was like do i really want to do this for the rest of my life, life go, go in every three months, months. no, no thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I just, I just don't really feel like going back there every three months to have my hair touched up or else my hair is looking crazy because I have two textures in it. So that's like the main reason why I went natural. Um, the first time I went natural though, um, I hated it. <laughs> I hated it so much. Um, I went natural, it was, I think it was sophomore year of high school that I went natural. And I, I, I had, um, I didn't like chop all my hair off like I did the first time but I just chopped off the straight ends and my hair was longer so it you know it wasn't like I was bald it was like I still had a good amount of hair um my hair was kind of like this length when I cut it um so I cut it because when my hair because I've been having my hair relaxed since I was like two literally so I didn't know that I had curly hair I thought that the way my hair was like when I got it relaxed and it was all poofy, if I can, I will insert a picture of me looking absolutely disgusting in middle school of my hair. <laughs> um, it's just, ugh. I didn't take many pictures. I wish I had more, but I didn't take any pictures because I thought it was ugly and I still think I'm ugly, so there you go. Um, but it was this fluffed out, it just, my hair refused to stay like silky straight, it was always this puffed out thing, my hair was always getting wet and stuff, so it was like this huge puff ball of disgustingness, it looked like a rat on my head, it was awful, um, but 
um, I cut all my hair off because I was like, oh my god, what is this weird texture? And I actually thought something was wrong with me. I was like, what is this? I don't understand. And then I found out, just, you know, to find out that it's like my natural hair texture. And I was like, alrighty then, didn't know that. Uh, to seal that in, I'm going to use the Aunt Jackie's Curls and Coils Flaxseed Recipes Seal It Up Hydrating Sealing Butter. Um, and I was just like dumbfounded that this was my hair. So I cut it to like experiment with my hair, but I didn't have the patience to deal with it. So then I started getting relaxers again. So that's basically like when, when I was a uh, little, little, my mom used to keep my hair like curly though. So, but you know whatevers I mean if uh, it's not like I hate you if you have like I don't know where like this hate comes from there's like this division where there's like relaxer people like and then people who like wigs and weaves and then there's like natural people and they always like attack each other and it's like blah 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 you don't love yourself if you don't have natural hair like you can still love yourself if you don't have natural hair like and they're like well the, the reason the problem I have is that you said you can't go out without wigs and weaves well yeah I mean if your hair is like damaged or you have like alopecia or something like that you know, you're not going to want to go out with that and be like, hey, look at me, kind of thing, you know? You want your hair to be popping, you know? Attract that, like, them boys, not them sugar daddies, though. But, you know, you can do whatever you want with your hair. I wear wigs and weaves sometimes. I mean, I haven't worn a weave before, but I've worn wigs. Actually, I have worn weave in middle school. What is up with me in middle school? I don't understand. But I have worn weave and I have worn wigs, and I love them because it's so risk-free. You don't have to worry about you know, the damage to your, I mean, unless you're getting like really weaves all the time and getting your hair braided super tight, then that's not a good idea. But if you're just like, you know, doing like wigs and stuff and not braiding it down super tight and letting your hair breathe once in a while, it, it's good to have variety in your hair because you can do so many things. You can have straight hair one day, curly hair the next day, blonde hair one day, orange hair the next day. It's like whatever, you know? Um, so that's like my two cents or whatever. Just going to use some coconut oil to seal in my hair and it's dripping all over my legs. Wow. <sighs> the first time I went natural, my hair hated anything with any amount of coconut oil in it. I don't know what it was, but it just hated it. But now my hair is kind of like cool with it. It just doesn't, it moisturizes it pretty nice. So I don't know. Um, and we've been, we've gotten into one year of me being natural and I still have no idea what I'm doing. So the problem is, is that, uh, the problem is, is that I don't have, there's no like natural hair places near where I live, like anywhere close near where I live. So I have to like travel either like two hours away to go to like a diva curl salon, like a registered diva curl stylist or whatever and get that done, pay out like $200 or just kind of figure it out for myself which hasn't been going too well so I want to go to a diva curl salon and film it for you guys so you guys can see how my hair transformation has been going I, I haven't really been putting a lot of gel in my hair lately because the eco style gel has tended to dry out my hair so I've just kind of been I mean I haven't been wearing an afro what I've actually been doing is um taking a hair piece like a curly hair piece like uh, in some of my videos, you guys might see me wearing like the the uh, the pineapple. That's actually a hair piece on my head. That's not my real hair. So, cause you know, it's just it's faster if I just use the hair piece and just kind of throw it up, put, like put this hair on a ponytail and then throw it up. So now we're gonna do a length check. So in the front, in the front, my hair is. down to my lip. Do you see? And the kind of side parts are past my chin, other side, past my chin, this side, like my sideburns is like here almost, it's like halfway down my neck, and then this side. This side's a little bit longer. I don't know why. Yeah, weird. And then the back. Is 
is right there. And then if you bring the back to the front, it's almost that collarbone length. So that is a considerable amount of growth for only a year. Um, I just want my hair to get like bigger and fuller and like like Hannah Musette, you know, how she has like this glorious afro and I just, I want it. So, um, this is my hair so far. Um, if you're like one of those like naturalistas or whatever, or like you know anything to like moisturize extremely dry hair, please leave it, leave, link it down, leave it in the, the comments section down below because it's just, it's too much. I can't find anything to really moisturize my hair at this point. It's always dry, like moisturize it one day, wake up next day dry. Like it's like the Sahara Desert. So I, I use that twice in this video, but you know what? Recycling, I'm recycling, okay. What was that song? There was like an iCarly song for recycling and I have no idea how it went. How did it go? I don't remember. Anyway, um, that's all that I had for this video. Go check out my other video of me cutting my hair. <laughs> um, but if you liked it, then good for you. And I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.